Welcome to Board Gems. I recently received in a trade what I thought was going to be the Alea version of the Klaus Teuber Spiel des Jahres winning game Adel Verpflichtet. It wasn't the Alea edition, it was an Avalon Hill edition. So, to make some use of it, I am comparing to the last English edition, Hoity Toity. On the left is the Avalon Hill edition. They also released one fully in English, which they named by hook or crook. But this is a German game with a German name and German cards inside, but with English rules and an English back. On the right is the fully English edition Hoity Toity from defunct American publisher Uberplay. The Avalon Hill edition is their relatively standard, I think, bookshelf size. Hoity Toity is about Carcassonne sized, a little bit thicker. The dimensions are slightly different. In Adel Verflichtet, this is a two to five player game. And in Hoity Toity, they upped that player count to six. Although this is an Avalon Hill game, this is basically just a reprint, a straight reprint of the German edition from FX Schmidt with the German name and also German cards, which you'll see shortly, but an English back and English rules. The Avalon Hill edition has no insert, which is pretty standard, I think. Hoity Toity has an insert, has a place to put the two sizes of cards and a big well, of which the only thing you can put in that well are the pawns. The Avalon Hill rules are fine. It's just kind of a wall of text with only a few examples and diagrams. And in black and white, Hoity Toity is in color. And it's also longer, so it probably does make the game look, at first glance, a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Very simple game. So the board art for Avalon Hill uses the same art as the FX Schmidt edition, and later Alea would use this same art. Hoity Toity changed the art slightly. The main difference that you'll see is that the jails in which the thieves go if they are arrested. There are five jails in a semicircle in the original, but Hoity Toity ups the player count to six, so there are six jails. It's interesting how the artist for Hoity Toity seemed to try to replicate very closely the original art while still being slightly different. That parlor. The original FX Schmidt art to me looks a little cozier. The Hoity Toity cards are nice and large. You'll see the Avalon Hill cards are in German, even though the game is osten ostensibly the English edition. It's the German edition imported and slightly repackaged by Avalon Hill, I guess. Most of the cards are the same, same years, same items, but again, the artwork changed slightly. The hoity-toity cards are much thicker as well. Very thin and flimsy cards in the Avalon Hill edition. Hoity Toity has an extra card of every color because it goes up to six players. And the A's, the Rococo mask switched from Switzerland to Italy for some reason. One of the Japanese masks became Chinese. We added an African mask. And this other Japanese mask, which is, as I think, is the oldest thing by far in the game. I'm not sure if that's a misprint. And the B's, again, a repeat of some of the artwork like that Gangloff beer. But the original had advertisements for cigarettes, and those have been removed in the newer edition. The generic wooden figures from Russia have now become Matrushka dolls, and Mickey Mouse has been eliminated. I guess there should, that should be of no surprise to anyone. Surprised any version that was released in the United States managed to have Mickey Mouse in there. In the D's, here's another misprint. As far as I can tell, it might have been a purposeful change, but the change doesn't make a lot of sense from a historical perspective. Sir Walter Raleigh, his pipe was from 1916. It should be 1616 based on when Sir Walter Raleigh actually lived. The additional card in the E's is Josephine Baker's banana skirt. I actually had to look up Josephine Baker. I think this works as a nice compliment to Tarzan's loincloth. I always try to get Tarzan's loincloth when I play the game. And the Fs are not that interesting, just one extra card. In the Avalon Hill edition, the colors in the E's and F's, in my copy anyway, are a little bit discolored. There's, they're different shades. But this is a used copy. I can't promise that just somebody didn't take two 
separate copies and put them together. Ah, just an observation. These are the action cards. Avalon Hill on the bottom, Uber Play on the top. They're similar. I kind of agree with the change of check to cash. It just seems more appropriate for a thief to, s to steal cash instead of checks, but the action cards in the Avalon Hill edition are actually a kind of a strange shape. Very small, but also very narrow. And finally, the pawns. In the background is Uber Plays, but these are similar pieces that you'll see in most editions of Adelberflichtet. It's just this Avalon Hill edition has plastic pawns which would probably drive some gamers nuts. Generic plastic pawns? Eh, doesn't bother me, they do the job. It's a board game, it has plastic pawns, that's fairly normal, but obviously the big wooden pieces are nicer. And it is interesting to me that the original FX Schmidt edition did have these big wooden pawns, but they didn't make it into the Avalon Hill edition. Thanks for watching. Amazing that Hoity Toity is the last English edition and it came out in 2004. Man, it's a great game. Should be a new version someday, I hope. Doesn't stop being good just because newer games come out, right? Take care.